Okay, here we are, September 8th, 2018. We're right at the trailhead. Just got out of the side by side. What time is it, you think? Uh, it is. 5.30 or so. Six but Six, so we got up this morning, 2.45, and uh, loaded up. So got ready. We're ready to kick some butt now. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready, man. We're ready. At the, we're at the trailhead. Let's rock and roll. We got eight hours ahead. <laughs> Sixty about sixty-five pound packs, average, and yeah, we're ready. So hopefully, kind of got too much gear, but. <laughs> <laughs> I say I'm ready, but we'll find out here in a mile or so. <laughs> yeah, last time I came in, it took eight hours to go seven miles. So, see how we do today? I'm a lot fuller than I expected. Two of them are a lot fuller. <laughs> I'm the only one that had a great big bear claw, and it just got a lodge right here. <laughs> well, I tell you what, we're ready for this trailhead. Let's just kick ass and take names, man. We'll see if we can make it up there and before dark. I need about 16 hours, but... We'll try to make it in 12. <laughs> About a mile in. About 10 more to go. Yeah. Jason Borsini. So those that may not know, I have the mountain goat tag. This is my twin brother, Jeff Borsini, and behind the camera right now is Randy Menacini. So you'll be seeing him in a bit. You've probably already seen him throughout the video, but we're excited today, huffing it in. Let's get a goat down. What do you say? Oh, so excited, can't wait. This is such a great adventure. This is phenomenal. What a great, day beautiful to be out here in the environment just really stunning uh, i just this is the first time i've ever done anything like this and so far it's been amazing already uh beautiful country around here and just excited for my buddy to on this goat hunt man just happy to be here come up here and uh we stopped and i spotted a goat Right up here, shining. I even saw it move. All right, the truth is, I think I got heat stroke. <laughs> These guys said, what goat? <laughs> and then I didn't see nothing, but look like it. When, you, when you're here to see something, all these white rocks look like white goats. Well, we're taking a little break right now. Jeff spotted the goat. I think it's petrified in granite right now, but it didn't move. So <laughs> pulled out the spotter. I think we're uh, going to have a lot of those experiences. And uh, but yeah, pulled out the spotter, and it was white rock. So um, just the way it goes. But you know what? We needed kind of a break, and I kind of wanted to for us to glass this before we just head on through. So at least we know it's here. So a lot of rock.
It's going to be a tough hunt. There's just no if, buts, or ands. Jeff, he had spotted, uh, he spotted one Billy. Actually went across the whole entire face. It was pretty impressive how fast it went. It just was booking and it's, it's a young Billy, but it's just moving. And then he spotted a nanny over here in number 15. So we've got a good video of both these, but I think we're going to have to move over into these other bowls. So tomorrow will be, be a tough hunt tomorrow. You know, we're going to be ramming and jamming. So things are going good, but just want to say thanks to Jeff and Randy for helping me out and being here and set eyes. Hey. We hiked all the way in here. And the one thing we did not forget, we all brought slippers. <laughs> oh yeah, Sung Pao. <laughs> yeah, now we're just sitting down, ready to enjoy a nice hot meal of Alpine air. I'm trying the forever mac and cheese. Smells really good. I know it's gonna be good. Jeff's trying. I don't know. The burrito, veggie burrito, mm. veggie burrito bowl. Mm. With tell beans. nobody veggie. <laughs> and I'm trying the lasagna. A wee nip of the wine jug. Did you see that? That's how I celebrate <laughs> the first night. <laughs> Jim Bean, apple. I'll just eat my slow. Is it terrible? Oh. We're going to head up this one hill and go over to third, so we'll see how we do. We're all rested up halfway and had our coffee, oatmeal, and we're ready. You guys ready? We're ready. We're ready. So today, went up on uh, the ridge behind us, and uh, while we were up there, we seen a nanny and a kid. Kind of looked around and didn't see a whole lot, you know. I I was kind of under the impression we would see maybe, I was hoping for six goats or more, but we didn't see anything for goats, really, so seen the majority of the goats where we are now so gonna head over here to this other ridge behind us or in front of us over here and uh 
see what tomorrow brings. So it should be a pretty good day tomorrow. Um, from the ghosts we've been seeing over here, I think we're going to do pretty good as far as seeing them. So I uh, came back here, um, grabbing a little dinner and stuff, showered up, and Jeff, he was laying in the creek. So he's all rested and showered up. So he's good. What do you guys say? Yeah, no, I took a shower. I feel 100% better. Changed my attitude. Uh, yeah, I didn't see a whole lot today. Saw a couple of repeat animals, but uh, as always, tomorrow we're going to go the other direction tomorrow. So, hopefully, we'll. Should be a good day. Should be a good day. What do you say, Jorge? This country <laughs> is so freaking big. I tell you what, my feet are taking a beating, my body's taking a beating, but that cold crick right there, ha, it just rejuvenated me. Man, my feet feel better. I'm ready to rock and roll. So, I appreciate you guys. This is a toast to you guys, seriously, out of all. <laughs> I appreciate hey, it. I you guys rock. Muscles are hurting sore. Right now, we spotted three nannies, two kids on the far end. We got two billies now coming up. One, a smaller billy, and then the second one's actually a larger billy that we're going to be shooting. So they're kind of making their way here, but they have a cliff um, below us. So we'll probably be waiting for them, see if they want to keep coming up, try to let them lay down and we'll try to make a move on them. So right now Randy and Jeff are following that bigger billy right now. So wish us luck. Let's do it.
out hiking around and come up on this airplane that had crashed a long time ago. Looks like a twin engine. Yeah, Randy diagnosed it. Uh, spark plug wire came loose. Is that right, Randy? Oh, we well, can somehow. Must have just crashed. I think it was gas. Tough hunt, you know. Oh, I'm just glad that all the terrain that we've been on and going through and up and down, left and right, so far everyone's safe. We came down that whole ledge and it's pretty hairy. And I'll be honest, this is tough. This is, you know, exactly what these shirts say. They're extreme hunts here. You know, this isn't you know, side by side glass all day, you know, I mean, we're used to that too, you know, elk hunting, deer hunting. We're able to get out there a lot, so. But on this, this is all hoofing it here, so. We're headed back to camp right now and go have some dinner.
We go down. So how tight's that collar? Tight, right? Oh my child, I know you hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve. Got big goat down. Hope these boys, Jeff and Randy, are ready to pack this baby out. <laughs> I didn't bring a pack, so Whew. thanks to Jeff and Randy for coming out on this hunt and uh, hunting. Pretty tough uh, four days on it, you know. We've been we did a lot of research and all that, how we want to go about it, and the boys helped me get it done. So I want to say thanks to them. I really do appreciate them taking the time off work and all that away from their families to be here. So, appreciate it guys. Thank you very much. And uh, also I want to say thanks to my family. So, thanks Stace. Appreciate it. Spicy sausage, and I like that. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm gonna be spackling, spackling all the bushes later tonight. <laughs>